Hey, good evening everyone and welcome to the stream. It's me, Shellshock Prime, and tonight we are going to be doing something different because I've already I've already beaten Sonic Frontiers last night. So tonight we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. So we're gonna be playing three games in the same series. We're gonna start things off with the Ghosts and Goblins trilogy. We're gonna start with Ghosts and Goblins, the arcade version I'm gonna be playing on Capcom Arcade Stadium, followed by Ghouls and Ghosts which I'll also play the arcade game, also on Capcom Arcade Stadium. And then I'm going to go to Super Goals and Ghosts, which I'll be playing the Super Nintendo version through the Super Nintendo, Nintendo Switch Online app. So that's how I'm going to be streaming tonight. That's what I'm going to be doing. Three games in one series. Eventually, I will tackle the PSP games, since I already streamed the, um, the recent game in the series last year, Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection. But yeah, so as you can see the schedule, we already did Sonic Frontiers last night. Beat the game, stood up till about like a little bit past one o'clock to finish it. Um, Ghosts and Goblins trilogy tonight. Tomorrow's Capcom Arcade Second Stadium. Um, and the games that I decided on for that are going to be 1943 Kai and and Knights of the Round. Um, there might be a third game if there's if there's time because around nine o'clock Mario Party Two will be happening. And then um, Thursday is Retro Night, where this month's theme is 16-bit fighting game, 16-bit era fighting games, game like 16-bit fighting games from the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. And then Sunday there will be a new episode of Show with Shell Shock. Gonna finalize the details by the end of the week, but it should be a huge discussion on Sonic the Hedgehog as a whole. But yeah, good to see you, Destiny. Hope you are doing very well on this fine. Um, evening. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, November 15th, 2022, and we are going to be getting ready to play some Ghosts and Goblins. So let's go ahead and do just that. I'm going to be playing all three games using this. The NSO controller for Super Nintendo. Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins, yeah. So let's go over here. We're going to be starting up with Ghosts and Goblins. So this game is the start of the series. It came out in towards the end of 1985, like the fall of 85, in Japan, North America, and Europe. An NES version would come out a year later, 1986. The NES version runs extremely choppy and is it's arguably harder than the the arcade version. Yeah, it sold very well. I think it sold over a million copies. 
maybe a little bit more than that. Um, so it did well on NES, despite the fact that it was a, a really good port. Though Capcom would, because like Capcom around this time, they were like up until 1987. Well, up until December 1987, the majority of their NES output were were games that were like arcade ports. The very first arcade, the very first NES game that wasn't an arcade port, like an original game, was Mega Man, or in Japan, Rock Man. But we're not here to talk about Mega Man today. We're here to talk about Ghosts and Goblins. So we're gonna go ahead and get things ready. This is the arcade version through. Capcom Arcade Stadium, which, like, I'm playing it on Switch, but you can also play it on on Steam, you can play it on PS3, P PS4, and you can play it on Xbox One. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Alright, game settings. Alright. This is the first game in the series. Created by Toru Fujiwara, who would later go on to make his own studio, Whoopi Camp, where he created the Tomba series for PlayStation. Like he worked from Capcom, he worked at Capcom from like the, the 80s up until 96. The last game he worked on like, while working with Capcom was Resident Evil 1. All right, so let's stop. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. The very iconic theme from the graveyard. There's a weapon I want, but I gotta see if I can get it. And that's the knife. Ow. It's like, and I think it's every time you get hit, you lose your armor, and you got the red rammer or firebrand. I hate these guys. Every game in the series, I hate them. Yep. Ah. They are the bad guys, but they do have their own game, the Gargoyles Quest series. There's there's three of them. There's the first two games. The first one was on the the Game Boy. The second one had an NES and the Game Boy version. And then the third game was on the Super Nintendo, known as Demon's Crest. Well, I already did the third game in the series. Um, I did Demon's Crest um, last year, but I still got to do the, the other two. Um, did they ever re-release the second game on like any platform? I know the first game was on the 3DS's Virtual Console, which I do have. But did they ever re-release the second game? Oh no, no, no. You know what? That was stupid. Drop the knife, please. I prefer the knife over the javelin. Or spear. No, I definitely don't want that. What the see she? Ah, 
got him. Oh yeah, when when some comic Johnny did that, yeah, he he only did he only did two games. He didn't do the um, the second game in the series. Um, I figured he would have. He only did um, Ghosts and Goblins and Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I figured he would have at least played Ghouls and Ghosts on the Sega Genesis, which to me like is definitely a better game than than this one. Like like Ghouls and Ghosts is definitely better than Ghosts and Goblins. Got these little mini devils right here. Ow. If I move forward, then like I will have the checkpoint. Oh yeah, Tails doll. Yeah, that was a nice touch. We got different types of devils in this game. We're in the second stage, like the first and second stage each use the same music. Same thing with um, stages three and four. And then, yeah, have stage 5 and 6, also using the same music. Yes! If there's one thing that James Rolfe has kept telling me to do when, when he reviewed Ghosts and Goblins years back, like 10 years ago, actually. Three words. Get the knife. You gotta get the knife. Make sure to always get the knife, no matter where you go or what you do. In Super Ghouls and Ghosts, the knife is not the best weapon. No, I don't want that. What is the best weapon in Super Ghouls and Ghosts? It's the crossbow. It's great against it's great against the um, the red armor when like you have the green or gold armors because it, it actually homes because it, it will be a homing weapon. And you you're gonna need it especially in stages six and seven. Here's the tricky part. I need I need this guy to go right here. And it gets trickier. Oh, yeah, good. Getting close to the boss, which the boss is right here is the same thing. The boss is more or less the same here. Oh, that jumped really far. One. Okay. You win. 
yeah, screw that boss. It's basically the same thing except just um twice the amount. All right, different music. We're in a cave now. Let's go. So we're in a cave. Just gotta make sure to... to ah. Gotta be careful. Gotta make sure to not take any hits. But it's gonna be hard. We got we got the red members here. Oh, and by the way, if you think there's gonna be one here, no, there is no such thing as one red member in this stage. You find one right now, but there's gonna be others coming up. That's one, but there's gonna be more popping up at some point. Ghostbusters and Goblins Crushers? Yes. There he is. There's the other one. But I killed this one quicker than the last one. The other one was a pain to kill. Hey! Where'd you come from? Why are you here? It's like the other enemies won't really follow you that much, but that one will. It will not leave you alone until you're dead. And th that other one was sleeping, so there we go. Come on, come on over here. There we go. And there's another one here. Come here, come here. Let's go. There's another one around here. There's another... There's a dragon. There we go. Yes. Got an extra life. Start from here. I need to get up there. Hello, I need to get up there. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Did not expect that, but okay. All right, wait for it to move back to the other way forward. Oops. This way, this way, this way. Nope, not today. I think there's another one popping up.
Leave me alone. Die. Come on. Die. Oh god, it's you. What do you want? There we go, you, you're dead. You ain't gonna bother me no more. It's that same dragon again. Ah. Oh, fuck you. Come on. You want some? I'll give you some. There we go. You're dead. We can move. We can move. We can move. We can move. Ba -da -ba -da 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 all right, let's go. Okay. Get rid of all the skulls. Okay, so for this, so there's a there's a specific weapon I need to get. It's some sort of a shield that has a cross on it. There's going to be an enemy that drops it. If not in this stage, then in the stage after this one. So I gotta be extra careful. So I gotta I gotta be careful and see if there's like a something that drops it. It needs to drop so that I can be able to um, get it because you cannot clear stage six without that that shield that has the cross on it. All right, that's not the drop. I do wonder. Will it? Does this randomly generate if I kill it in a different way? No. I think I'm just gonna have to go with this. Destroy the skull. Everything is predetermined. I need I need something to drop the the weapon. I need the weapon. And if you think things are gonna be tough, guess what? We got this red remember to deal with. Just, just remind all the clock. Yep. Hey, hey Mavic, we got this. I need this weapon to drop. Does this one have it? We're gonna find out. Come down. Yeah, time is of the essence, so we gotta be extra careful. That's not what I need. Going up. Gotta hurry up. Get up to the top. Time is running out.
Oh, I see there's a way, I find out like a way I can just move. Beat them at a time at a time. Hold up. Let me see if I could actually. Come on. Counted. It fucking counted. Holy fucking shit. Wow. It fucking counted. Holy shit. Wow. It counted. Wow. Alright. This is where I really need that weapon. If I don't get it here, I have to do stage 5 again and then come back here to get it. The problem is, we got these two enemies here. I need the weapon to drop. I'm gonna. I, I, there's a theory I want to test. If I have to, if I if I have to go through a certain part with with everything, with my um, armor and everything. Problem is, I need them to be in one spot. I need both of them to be in one spot, and I need both of them to be in the left side so I can move to the the, the other ladder. I could just cheese it like that. Okay, good. Time to go up. We got the dragon up there, ready to fight me. There we go. Now let's go up. We gotta see if the, if the weapon will drop. That's not what I was looking for. I just gotta be careful. Like, I don't care if I make it to the boss right now, I just wanna at least get the weapon so that... So I can at least, um... So I at least know I have it. 
so I wouldn't have to worry about being in some goose chase. It rarely drops, it has a higher chance of dropping at some point here than in the last stage. Alright. What the? What? Get out of here! It didn't drop. It's supposed to drop. I wonder if I'm supposed to beat all the enemies. I don't remember if that's the case. And I don't have time. But I just got to cut my losses and just like let the time run out and then um go through again. I think I'm supposed to beat these two guys down here and then um go through as much as possible. That actually counts as a death. Wow. Okay. We're going to try again. We need it to drop. But how does it determine it, though? Move out of the way, move out of the way, move out of the way. Just so wanna kill these guys. I wanna kill all Let me see what happens if I kill all the enemies. Maybe they they'll I'll get the weapon. Problem is, there's two of them. They really program the AI for these things really good. Can't shoot, you can't you can't use any of your weapons on the ladder though. out of there. Alright. Going up. Get rid of that dragon.
This is the first run, Derek. Trying to survive. Trying to f trying to get this one weapon to drop. At this rate, it probably won't. Yeah, right now I'm trying to, like, see if this one weapon will actually drop. It's like a shield. What did drop was, a, was the armor. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, exactly. To fight two of them here. Gotta be careful.
I see some glitches. Gotta be careful. Gotta keep moving. Let's just beat up that dragon. Okay, got him. Now we gotta go up. We'll just have to go through the stage, and I think I'm gonna have to repeat stage 5 again. Gotta take him out. Get out of here. No more of you. Got these big ones right now. Alright, that's one. Now the other one is here.
This weapon was not effect, has not effect. Try again. Get get the shield. So we have to get the shield. I guess we actually have to do that again. Gotta find the shield. It's an axe. I forgot the axes in this game. Or it's a hatchet. Either way, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I want. What the hell? I got a raid. Alice Ichigo Simmington. Thanks for the raid. Welcome. How you guys doing tonight? As you can see, I'm playing this game and it's a bit of a struggle. I'm trying to get a certain weapon to drop so I can be able to get it. Alright, we beat Swing Smiley Love. Hi, welcome. It's nice to see you. Welcome. I was recommended by you. You're recommended. I was recommended by Mekon. Oh, thank you. Well, well, thanks to Mekon. I really appreciate it. Uh oh. Well, let me give you a shout out real quick. Slimington, okay. Yeah, I see it now. That's space too. Hope you had a good stream with that. This time I need the the weapon to drop. It has to drop now. Or I will have to do that again.
But now I'm trying to figure out just how to, like, how to get that one, um, that one weapon to drop. Because it's supposed to just randomly drop. I need to get it. Swan the spoops don't get me as they should, but I enjoy the chaos. Alright. Sounds good. I had to just do it again. Ugh. Ugh. Just gotta be careful. I never got passed through the first stage on NES, damn. What the hell are you doing here? Now they get the other one out.
Ah. I need that weapon to pop up. Not what I want. Right now I'm trying to see if I can get the weapon to pop up. It needs to drop. Yes, that's it. There we go. We move in. I got it. Had to move. I gotta be careful. Just gotta make it all the way over there. This is what we need. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Now we can actually finish stage six for real. Got exactly what I need, now we move. Just go up because it's gonna be a a suit like a like there's gonna be a suit drop. Like an armor drop.
All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, now I gotta get the other one. Come on. Come on. Got the key. We can we go 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 go. <sighs> yeah, it's supposed to teach me patience. Patience is a virtue, especially for this game. Resolve your battle. I have to hit him in his stomach. This room is an illusion. Right, hold up. L I gotta read that. This room is an illusion and is, is a trap devised by Satan. Go ahead, dauntlessly. Make rapid progress. I actually did kill him like that. <laughs> and it's still counted, yes. So now I have to do the whole thing with this weapon. Do not take any other weapons. Just this one. So now I have to beat the game again. Welcome to... And then now it's harder... To... And guess what? Now it's going to be even harder than the last time. Or the first time around. I would feel bad if people played the NES game, it was one of their first games, and they quit video games because of it. Ah. 
I was round two harder. Well, let's just say the problem with this weapon is that the range is not the range is very short. And you have to use this weapon. You can't like switch to other one. You can, but you don't. Well, you, but it's a pain in the ass for this weapon to drop. So it's better if you keep it. Let's go. We gotta move. We gotta get there. Let's move. We gotta get this going. We gotta get this way. Getting close to the boss, 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 boss. Let's go. Yes, we got it. We gotta keep going. We're in the cave. Obviously, you get the knife, but not now. Not in. Not the second loop. The second loop. Shield all the way. The worst weapon in the game is still the fire bomb, by the way, or the water bomb, whatever, or whatever, whatever people want to call it. Oh, that's good. Let's go up.
Give me the key. Move in, move in, move in. We gotta go. We gotta move. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da All right, platform time. You know what's funny? This game came out either before, so shortly before, or around the same time as um, the original Super Mario Brothers. The NES version, like I said, came out like a year, a year after. Take a key for coming in. Um, English is what they called it, I think. Basically, like, mistranslations. Go, go, go. Hey, Dragon, how you doing? Got the second boss. Yeah, I finished them before, but um, I figured, you know what, why not just do them again? You're doing well? That's good to hear. It's just these games are hard. <laughs> We got two more stages and, and then we have the, the final boss and then we're done with this game. And then moving on to the next one. Alright, we got what we need, we're just gonna go straight to the boss. That's what we gotta do. Yes, I'm a glutton for punishment, I know. Yeah, but I can only use this weapon, this um, shield. Or in Japan, they call it a cross, but it's a shield. All right, we gotta move, 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 move. Trying to get to the boss without t um, losing my armor. Have I conquered my demons? Working on it, Enigma. Working on it. Maybe I should. Um... Maybe I should take this path right here. They got that secret weapon? Already got it. No, oh, no. Yep. This is the second this is the second loop right here.
Go, 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 go! Yeah, they take like 10 or 11 hits. We're going up. Add up. Boss time. Got him. We're going. Take a key for coming in. Yeah. Now we just got one more stage, and then we will fight the final boss, and that's the end of this game for good. That's gonna be the plan right now. Gonna have to take a hit here because this is. This part is ridiculous. Bypass those enemies right there. Just gonna keep moving. That was just ahead. Gotta get rid of his head. Get rid of his head. Let me just bring it up. This guy, this thing, he won't die. Bow of Resurrection was fun, yeah. There we go. This is insane. Yeah, no one scenario indeed. I'm gonna force a win out of this. We're going up. That was the case, Destiny. My parents would have taken me out of the arcades already. 
They will be like, it's time to go. It's time to go. Or at least I know my mom would have been like that. If I was by myself, sure. No problem. But where will I get the money for that? Alright. How the hell am I going to beat both those um, bosses? Like, within, in under 30 seconds. Gonna have to pull through. I'll just do it again. At least we have save states and rewinds. Spent so much time trying to kill him with the head that he has. Yeah, honestly, if if people want to talk shit about others using save states and rewinds, I'm not gonna stand for that. People could just people could play however they want to play. And if people say, "But what about but what about the the devs' intention?" Well, guess what? If they intended on wanting people to play these games without, here's the thing. They they never wanted you, like I said, they never wanted you to be good at these video games. They wanted you to keep put pumping out those quarters. Because at the end of the day, it's all about these companies running a business. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again too. Business over skill. I haven't reached the no win scenario yet. There is a win right here. And we're gonna we're gonna make sure of it. Oh 
come on, come on, come on, come on. Come down here. Get down here. Come on. Time is of the essence. Get out of here. Now we got this guy. We got a him in the stomach. There we go. You win. Congratu congratulations. This story is a happy end. Being the wise and courageous knight that you are, you feel strong welling in your body. We're not challenging again. But we at least beat the game. So that's Ghosts and Goblins. Very hard game. Very, very hard.